This is Open Air New Music from Colorado Public Radio. I'm Daniel Mesher. Today, Elephant Revival joins us in the CPR Performance Studio for another Open Air session. The Netherlands Colorado Folk Band last joined us here at Open Air in 2014 as they were preparing for a Red Rock show opening up for Davachka. The band will perform at the famous Colorado venue again on May 22nd, but this time they'll be headlining. Elephant Revival just released its latest album, Petals, which they recorded in part at E-Town Music Hall in Boulder. We're thrilled to have them back in our studio to share some of their new music with us today. Elephant Revival, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll talk about your new album and your Red Rack show in just a minute, but how about a song first? This one's called Homing Your Heart. Falling down Spin me round and No one said This would be easy now But you gotta keep Moving somehow Yeah. 
This is Open Air. You're listening to Elephant Revival right here in the CPR Performance Studio. The song there, Home in Your Heart, that's off the new album, Pedals. Today we have Bridget Law on fiddle, Daniel Rodriguez on guitar, Bonnie Payne on washboard, Dango Rose on the bass, and Charlie Rose on the banjo. Of course, there's a whole slew of other instruments here that they'll be playing before they get out of here today. The album was recorded partly in Maine and partly here in Colorado at Eton Music Hall in Boulder. That's the last time I saw Daniel and Bonnie here, and we have an interview with them up at openaircpr.org if you want to check that out. But we're here to talk about their upcoming Red Rock show that's coming up on May 22nd. And the last time I saw Elephant Revival was at the Ogden Theater in Denver for your winter ball shows. That was quite a spectacle. There's a lot of uh, visual elements to it, aerial dancers and such coming from the roof. And that's not going to be uh, as easy at Red Rocks. It's an outdoor venue, of course. But do you have any uh, sort of visual aspects to this show that you're planning or are willing to give away at this point? There will actually be more aerials and acrobatics than there were at the Ogden Theater. We're really excited to introduce more of the members of Fractal Tribe and share their amazing skills with you. And fire, too, possibly at the end. Sounds oh like fire. safe fire. I think there, being will, no, there will be a giant um, dream catcher that uh, acrobatics will be, or acrobats will be doing <laughs> acrobatics <laughs> upon this suspended giant dream catcher. They'll mm-hmm. climb up into it from fabrics that are dangling out of it and then proceed to do amazing things inside of it. Where do you come up with all these aspects to accompany your show? I mean, are, uh, what kind of visual arts background uh, do you ha- guys have? Oh. Uh, Luckily, we have some really great friends uh, in Boulder from the Fractal Tribe who, um, you know, uh, like our music and are gathering visions off of the songs and and collaborate on which songs they want to do and collaborate on the visions with us along mm-hmm. alongside. They came up with the Dreamcatcher idea and they heard a song of Daniel's that they wanted to perform to. So. Giant dream catcher. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> uh, you also have a, a couple opening acts, uh, Rising Appalachia and Josh Ritter, who is a musician that, from what I understand, you've all been a fan of for quite some time. Uh, what's it like to be uh, have, sharing the stage with Josh Ritter at Red Rocks? Uh, we shared many stages with um, Josh Ritter and his great band. Um, and we're so much looking forward to this again at... He has an album that just came out called Sermon on the Rocks, so it's really proper to get him on the actual Red Rocks and yeah. do it in style. I know he's really excited, too. The first thing he said when I met him was, oh, man, this is it's really a dream come true to play Red Rocks, so I'm really stoked to do that with you guys. And this new... El- Go ahead, sorry. I was just going to say, yeah, Daniel uh, was mentioning his new album, Sermon on the Rocks, and the artwork on the album just looks so reminiscent of Red Rocks. It's just mm-hmm. such a beautiful thing. And... This new album, You Have Pedals, uh, the producer on this album is uh, an individual who's worked with Josh Ritter before. Was he the person who got you in touch with Sam Kassirer on this record? Uh, Well, our producer, Sam Kassirer, um, I've known for a while. I live in the Boston area. So when I started playing with Elephant Revival, um, I'm having already been acquainted with with Josh and and, uh, some members of his band like Sam and, and Zachary Hickman. Uh, it, it was easy to make the connection to reach out to Sam about producing the record, and then uh, later to to uh, you know s- look into playing some shows together. And so we opened up Josh's whole North American tour in January and February in anticipation of our uh, CD release, and then having Josh play with us on our show at Red Rock. So um, it was really fun to get to to make and strengthen that connection with with uh, Josh and his band through Sam and and all that. Well, really looking forward to the Red Rock show that's happening on May 22nd. And we absolutely love the new album, Pedals. So how about some more music from it right now? Sure. This is Elephant Revival in the CPR Performance Studio on Open Air. What song are we going to hear next? Uh, this is a song. It's the first song of the album called Hello You Who. <laughs> Love me, love loves me just to be 
Love me, love, love me just to be It is Elephant Revival in the CPR Performance Studio here on Open Air 102.3 FM in Denver and Boulder and 88.3 FM in Fort Collins. The song there was Pete's Tonight that's off the new album Petals, which is out now. Elephant Revival plays at Red Rocks on May 22nd. More details on our event calendar at openaircpr.org. So among the many, many instruments here today is the cello, and Bonnie Payne is playing the cello. That's a relatively new instrument for your live show, and from what I understand, the first show where you brought out the cello uh, ran into a little mishap. Can you tell me about that? Oh, the uh, cello bow exploded. Mm -hmm. And how, (laughs) How exactly does that happen? Um, we have a kind of more ruckus, raucous, what's the word there, um, song where it called When I Fall, and um, I went to, it's very percussive, the cello part on that, and so I went to play it, and I looked down and realized I was playing with just a stick, which I didn't know that you could do, so <laughs> that was when I learned that maybe cello was first played with a stick, I don't know, <laughs> but that, that was, was possible. She was shredding. It was shredded. <laughs> So what exactly do you do when a bow explodes? So it's, uh, what do you do to uh, prevent that from happening? Um, I got an Incredibow, which helps. Um, I, it's a company that makes bows that the hair is supposed to not break. And then um, Charlie showed me how you can wedge a piece of wood back in between where the hair was to make it unexplode and help me repair it. <laughs> I just d- did a little an explosion on it. <laughs> explosion prevention expert, Charlie Rose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was more of an explosion relief. <laughs> Charlie also plays the cello in the band with us, so we get to share it. <laughs> well, I was... Uh, go ahead. Oh, actually, I get to play the cello here on the next song. That's true. <laughs> well, I was at that show. I don't remember hearing any explosions, but... Uh, that's interesting good. to hear it's about. Internal. She you might have heard it. a really screechy cello. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when you play a cello with a wooden stick. So. You might be onto something. <laughs> <laughs> new sound, new radical sound. <laughs> you have this Red Rock show coming up on May 22nd. Uh, what's in store for Elephant Revival after that, after that first headlining performance at Red Rocks? Well, we jump right into summer festival season. So we get to go all across the country playing our favorite festivals. Summertime. Mm-hmm. Living's easy. 
Go up to Canada, do some Canada stuff. Got the oh, Canadian yeah. stuff. Where are you going to Canada? Oh, I think you're thinking of Ontario, California. Right? That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> I was just <laughs> checking to see how on top of things you guys are. <laughs> we, just, we did it just does go say to Canada. Ontario C A, but that's <laughs> yeah. see how you, can you at least got the sound bite from Tango. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're hoping to go back to Europe within the next year as well. So well, fantastic. We're all re- really looking forward to the Red Rock show coming up on May 22nd. Can we hear one more song from this new album, Petals? Sure thing. What's it going to be? This is going to be the title track of the album. It's called Petals. <laughs> It has been Elephant Revival in the CPR Performance Studio here on Open Air. That was the title track from their new album, Petals, which is out now. The band headlines Red Rocks Amphitheater on May 22nd. Bridget, Charlie, Daniel, Bonnie, and Dango, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. It's always a pleasure to have you come back anytime. I love this place. Matt Hurst was our audio engineer today. Irvin Coffey behind the camera, and I'm Daniel Mesher. To find more open-air sessions, video, and podcasts, visit openaircpr.org.